Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good day to Puan Nadia. So our group today, group 4, will present about trade raya. I am Nurliana binti Zamziba. We're going to present about theory of trade raya. But before I proceed to the theory, I will explain a little bit about what is trade raya. So trade raya is an apparatus used to remove moisture. A tree dryer, as we can see in this image, is an enclosed insulated chamber in which trays are placed on top of each other in trolleys. It is available in different sizes as per requirements. So basically, different requirements will be different size of tree dryer. Tree dryer involves simultaneous heat and mass transfer. Two types of heating involved is electrically heated and steam heated. And the material to be dried, either wet or solids, are placed in the trays. So next is theory of tree dryer. In tree dryer, hot air is continuously circulated. Forced convection heating takes place to remove moisture from the solid place in trays. Simultaneously, the moist air is removed partially. Wet solid is loaded into the trays, which the trays are placed in the chamber. Fresh air is introduced into the inlet, which passes through the heaters and gets heated up. The hot air is circulated by means of fans at 2 to 5 meter per second. Turbulent flow lowers the partial vapor pressure in the atmosphere and also reduces the thickness of the air boundary layer. Next, the water is picked up by the air. As the water evaporates from the surface, the water diffuses from the interior of the solids by the capillary actions. These events occur in a single pass of air. The time of contact is short and the amount of water picked up in a single pass is also small. Therefore, the discharge air to the tune of 80-90% to 90 is circulated back through the fence. Only 10-20% to 20 of fresh air is introduced. Moist air is discharged through outlet. Thus, constant temperature and uniform air flow over the materials can be maintained for achieving uniform drying. So, this process is continuous until the desired moisture content is obtained. At the end of the process, the drying trays are pulled out of the chamber and taken to a tray dumping section. So, that's all theory from me. Next, I will pass to Nur Hamiza to present about the daily application. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nur Hamiza Benti Zaki. I will explain about daily application of tray dryer. The application is drying the wet cloth. The equipment is cloth dryer, which is tumble dryer. And then the material is wet cloth, which is you want to dry the cloth. As you can see, there's a diagram the tools in the dryer. Next slide is tools in the dryer. I'll only choose uh, the important tools in the dryer. Firstly is blower motor. Blower motor is to circulate air through the machine. And then heating element which is the major tools in the dryer which is to supply heat to air which is to become the hot air into the dryer. And then thermostat. Thermostat is to control the temperature of the hot of the heating elements. And then timing device to set the drying time. Electricity to supply power to generate the tumble dryer. And then exhaust fan is to help the air out from the dryer. Tumble tumbler is the large compartment in dryer which holds and spins the cloth. Next slide is methods of drying. Firstly, the wet cloth are placed in rotating tumble compartment which holds cloth and spin the cloth. Second, the air enters the tumble dryer through air vents at front of the appliance by help of fan so that air can enter and circulate in the dryer. And when air contact with the heating and heating element, it will become hot air. And then the hot air then which to tumble 
and goes to truth the cold because the wet looks will attract the hot air and the heat will spread and heat up the water in the cloak which make the drying process faster. And lastly, excess moisture from the cloak drying will leave the dry through the exhaust when as steam. As you know, drying has two fans at the enter of the air and the outlet of the air. This is the exhaust fan work, which it absorbs the, the damp air out from the dryer. And next slide is the diagrams on trouble dryer working. This is the how air circulate in the dryer from the number 2 to number 10. That's all from me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nur Shafika Binti Azmi. Today, I will be presenting on the applications of tray dryers in the industry. The three industries that our group have chosen are food industry, pharmaceutical industry, and textile industry. I will be presenting on the pharmaceutical industry. So, tray dryers are used to dry products in the medicine manufacturing. Tray dryers are the most reliable means of drying in wet granulation method of drug production. With the wet granulation method used often in pharmaceutical industry, tray dryers are under heavy demand. Wet granulation method is popular in medicine manufacturing because it is most likely to satisfy the various criteria of tablet compression. Different types of dryers are used in this method to remove moisture from solids, powders, and also sheet. There are two types of dryers used, direct dryers and indirect dryers. Direct dryers use convection method of heating the trays where direct contact with hot air is used to dry the products whereas indirect dryers use conduction process and indirect contact with a hot object to create dryness. Uh, Assalamualaikum. Uh, I will explain about the application of tray dryer in industry. Uh, the next application is, food, is in food industry. In food industry, the dryer is used to drying wet food product and usually this process takes about 10 to 20 hours to drying the wet food product. For the process, the water remover from the mark graminate crane is applied in the production of marks. This process called kindling. Kindling is a process of drying barley. And this drying step is essentially and is required to create the desired color and flavor. This technique includes drying dairy products, coffee, surrogates, tea, powder drink, processed cereal-based foods, potatoes, and many more foods production. Okay, the next slide is shown the process of drying wet food. This is the simple process of drying wet food where in the tray dryer, the food is spread out on the tray. Then, heat, uh, it's heating by NA and air currents sweeping across the tray. By conduction from heated tray or also by the radiation from the heated surface. The, then, the moist of the vapor can be removed. The last application of the tray dryer is in industry is paper and textile industry. Uh, it tray dryer used for drying cellulose feed, cotton fiber, or palm for the production of paper. Large heated dryer rolls or cylinder function to remove moist of the water content of the sheet product. Paperboard fiber and other paper product can be made from this process. This equipment is similarly used to dry the woven cloths 
webs or non-woven mats of nylon, cotton fiber, glass and other fiber material. That's all from me. Uh, I will pass to the next presenter. Thank you. Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nur Rashid Sitifanda Mita Ma'amin. Um, today, I will conclude to you about three diet that I will be presenting today. Okay, firstly, three diet is the equipment that I uh, will use to remove moisture from the solid by uh, evaporation or supplementation. This, this equipment are uh, mostly utilized uh, for trying uh, of base or uh, weight masses of product like a good drug, chemical powder, or the uh, tablet carnivores. The next is the relative motion between a uh, drying medium and solid, which is called current and quantum current mix flow. This motion of hot air will provide to every shelf or tree enough heat enough heat when the wind uh, hot wind actually passes over uh, passes over a tree to provide a heat of evaporation then we talk about that this tree dryer have four type of uh, tree dryers which is direct convection uh, indirect conduction radiation and microwave drying okay the next slide is about pros and cons of a tree dryers we, uh, this tree dryers will offer many advantages to the industry, which is easy to clean it and, and low maintenance because this tree dryers is one of a uh, machine or equipment that are easy to uh, easy to operate or easy to repair because it requires uh, low cost, be, uh, low cost of uh, maintenance, low cost of maintenance. Okay, the next is low space requirement. The third is simple to use as operate patch wise because since they are used for patch, it uh, which can vary, uh, vary in size and can be handled without a loses of the product. Okay, the next is more efficient in fuel consumption, and the last advantage that I can present to do to you today is the. The dryer are also ready adjusted to accompany other materials in the efficient manner. Okay, after that is the advantages of the, of the tree dryers because everything in the world have a pros and cons. So the advantages is the the process is a time consuming because the tree dryer is a long process during cycle that will up to forty five hours per batch. And it's expensive to operate due to uh, high labor requirement to uh, to uh, or for loading and unloading product. Okay, this tree dye, this tree dye also are not suitable for the last scale production. Okay, the last but not least about our presentation today is the mechanism of the tree dye is is as a two stage of a process that. Uh, depending on drying medium and the moisture content of the product that will be dry. Okay, that's all from our presentation. Okay, thank you for watching us.